Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah all of us have a great need for Allah Azza wa Jal we need to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we're in need of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala in all of our affairs and this is why we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab al-nar O Allah, O our Lord uh, give us good in this life as well as the hereafter. Because the Muslim, the Mu'min, is in need and seeks good in this life as well as the hereafter. And this life is a wasila, in fact, or a means to the hereafter. And this is why the classical scholars, our Salaf, used to say that a dunya Dar al Amal. Well, Akhira Dar al Jaza. That this life is the time for deeds, for good deeds. And the next life is the time to receive the reward and good from those good deeds. Al, al Dunya, Al Dunya Dar al Amal. Well, Akhira Dara Jaza. So the hereafter is a time to reap those rewards. And one of the blessed times in order to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practice and implement on one of the highest levels of seeking to come draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to seek, seeking that wasila, seeking that means to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by performing Qiyam al-Layl. And so this is advice for myself first and foremost and my brothers and sisters in Islam that try to strive and have that mushakka, just a little bit of difficulty to get up at some point in your night, even if it's just for a simple few minutes to make wudu and pray two prayer units to Allah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and perhaps the witr prayer, make it an odd number and ask and beg your Lord for the good in this life as well as the hereafter. Listen to this hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam which shows us the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the importance of seeking, of seeking out the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the evening. An Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul inna fi layl li sa'a la yuwafiqaha Rajalun Muslim, yes, Allah Khairan Min Amrit Dunya Wulakhara, Illa Atahu Iyahu, Wadalika Kululayah, Ruahu Muslim. This is a hadith in Sahih Muslim. The hadith of Jabir ibn Abdullah, Radiallahu Ta'anhu, who said that the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, He said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, saying that verily there is a a time in the evening that if a Muslim finds that time period asking Allah for the good in this life as well as the next that Allah will give it to him and he said and that is every evening Meaning that every night we have this same opportunity. And that opportunity is not restricted by our race. That opportunity is not restricted by our nationality. This opportunity is not even restricted by our taqwa. But it has to do with the one who makes the effort to do this great deed. Which is worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and striving and asking for his favor 
in the good of this life as well as the hereafter, in the depths of the night. What we learn from this hadith is that there's a hikmah, a wisdom that was inherent to the wisdom of the Prophet wasallam, in which he did not specify a particular time. Why is that? That's to encourage us to do that every night and at any time of the night instead of then people do not restrict themselves to one hour of ibadah, a specific time, but rather all of that time, it could be any time. So this is to encourage us in hefana, uh, to encourage us to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship him and supplicate to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah accept our good and forgive our evil. Amin. Another benefit of this hadith is this hadith shows the immense rahmah, mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most merciful to his servants and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is near to his servants. As in another hadith in which the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yanzuru Rabbuna tabarak wa ta'ala kulu thuluth al-layl al-akhir fi yaqul That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the last third of, the, of every eve, uh, every third of the night. He descends to the lowest heaven and says, you know, who is supplicating to me? I will give to him. Who is asking my forgiveness? I will forgive him. Who is asking for something from me? I will, I will give him. So it lets us know that this is the mercy from the, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is near to us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears everything we do and everything uh, and is fully aware and nothing is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are in need of him and he will give to us. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.